Ramsons, often referred to as wild garlic or alimacinum in trade speak. This is one of the best known springtime edible wild greens and makes an excellent ingredient to explore in your wild food kitchen. Ramsons is very much localised in its distribution, although it is a widespread species across much of northern temperate Europe. It has an affinity for shady damp hollows, is often found in lanes shaded by hedges, and in fields where there is plenty of cover. It also loves clay-based and lime-rich soils. The 16th century herbalist Tabernai Montanus tells us that bears were fond of the plant, hence it was also called bear's garlic, Allium ursinum being the approved scientific name given to it by Linnaeus in the 18th century. Quite how well informed Tabernai Montanus was is unknown, although bears were perhaps more widespread across Europe in his time than they are now. Some of the other names for Ramsons were wood garlic, which sort of relates to its habitat, buckrams, devil's posy, hog garlic, and, wait for it, stink plant. Indeed, one 19th century writer opens his botanical commentary on Ramsons by saying, It has been truly said of this species that, if only we could divest it of its evil smell, it would rank amongst the most attractive of our British plants and it often so carpets the ground that one cannot avoid stepping upon it and bringing out its fetid odour. The same writer mentions our common English name for the plant, Ramsons, is derived from a Scandinavian word, rams, meaning rank. The plant was recorded by even earlier generations. A 16th century English translation of Dodoin's Flemish herbal tells us there be three sorts of garlic, that is the common or garden garlic, wild garlic, and ramsons. The third kind, called ramsons, hath most commonly two broad blades or large leaves, almost like the leaves of may lilies, betwixt which cometh up a stem or twain, bearing many small white flowers. The root is like to a young garlic head, of a very rank savour and taste. John Gerard who expropriated Dodone's text for his own herbal in 1597, did find some specimens to write about. I found it in the field next unto Booby's barn, under that hedge that bordereth upon the lane, and also upon the left hand, under a hedge adjoining to a lane that leadeth to Hampstead, both places near London. Gerard also provides us with a bit of an insight into how Ramson's was commonly used. The leaves of Ramsons be stamped and eaten of diverse in the low countries with fish for a sauce, even as we do eat green sauce made with sorrel. The same leaves may be very well eaten in April and May with butter, as such as are of a strong constitution and labouring men. The bulbs of Allium ascenium are slender and elliptical, and although they could be used in the wild food kitchen, you'd lose out on all those wonderful above-ground goodies. If you're interested in knowing more about wild foods, check out the course schedule on the Wild Food School website.